Hello, hello, more demons here and welcome to the game which was just played uh, on the stream of Hikaru Nakamura. Hikaru played against Alireza Firuzia. So in this game Hikaru plays as black, uh, Alireza plays as white and I think this was the friendly match. In the first game it was it was a draw uh, and in the second game after the game Hikaru said that he gonna stop the, the game because he want to analyze that because it was extremely beautiful. He said that for a quite long time he haven't played anything beautiful like that so the game was insane it was sharp it was Hikaru said on some moment that he doesn't know what is going on um, on the board so it was it was very very interesting game so without further ado let's see what happened on the board uh, Alireza open with e4 e5 uh, we have knight c3 so Vienna game knight c6 and now bishop c4 uh, and here usually knight f6 is the good idea it's always good idea actually to bring the knight uh, control this to square However, uh, Hikaru went for bishop c5. So that's just another line, very risky, very sharp. Queen g4, now attacking the pawn on g7. So g6 is the most popular answer, of course. A uh, king f8 can be played. But Hikaru went for queen f6, now defending the, the pawn on g7. And Alireza jumped to d5. And here Hikaru uh, started to think like, uh, it's, it's not okay for white. This is not okay. What I'm forgetting? And he started to think about the theory, what is going on here and indeed first he can take on f2 that's the first thing but it's a very good actually continuation for for white we have couple of games in the in the database uh, king d1 and how to continue with black so king f8 and now hikaru said everything he has to do is uh, play d6 and once d6 he consolidate and everything is fine with this position however he was quite wrong on this because we have now knight h3 attacking the queen what to do with the queen What's the best move in the position? So Hikaru was thinking about, okay, a h5, probably maybe something like knight f6 uh, or queen d4. That, that's, uh, his queen is not trapped. Uh, however, h5, he was right, h5 is the best move in the position. Uh, we have one game in the database, uh, however, queen g5 uh, and then he can go to d4. Uh, so the bishop is under attack, then d3 uh, and here the engine recommends just to make a space for the for the queen because c3 is coming and the queen gonna be trapped so what black want to do is make a space for the queen very very important uh, the queen is under attack so it's happening with tempo uh, and then after queen g3 then play knight f6 and then after c3 of course everything can be uh, can be okay with black but this queen on d6 is quite ugly it's blocking the pawn uh, however everything is with the position is is okay for black and the game can continue here okay so so um, th this is how the game should be played by hikaru however he went queen d4 immediately and now after d3 we still have one game in the position but it's already completely lost so what happened in the game in the database was making a space for the queen pretty logical one but then rook f1 and white gonna have extremely strong attack on the on the f7 so Black would have to defend that, uh, you know, uh, make some overprotection. And after c3, the queen, of course, can retreat. And then after knight g5, uh, knight h6, making even more protection. The problem is queen h5. And there is even more attack now on f7. For now, it's protected. However, if the knight is moved, then the bishop uh, also uh, is going to be another attacker. You cannot play anything like g6 because you're going to lose this, this knight. So that's the problem. In the game was played d6 and now what white this did was actually knight f6 and white won that game of course however this is also very very strong the knight cannot be taken because the the this knight gonna gonna be lost and if it's not taken then the knight gonna jump to to h7 and the king is in the huge huge troubles so white won that game this is what we know uh, the engine recommends actually knight f6 as this is the best continuation uh, but still knight f6 uh, now g takes on f6 or d5 i will show you these two variations but it's also uh, pretty good for white so for example g takes on f6 bishop h6 is coming and after king e8 uh, then queen g7 the rook is under attack 
Fortunately, it's defended by the by the bishop, but it's still not enough. Now c3, the queen has to retreat, and then b4, and now what are you gonna do with this bishop? This is problematic. And if bishop is retreated, then rook f1, then this pawn is under attack, and also white have a completely winning position here. And I just told you that d5 with the attack on the queen would be also possible. The problem with this move is that this knight at the end gonna gonna pick up the bishop which gonna take the, the take the queen so first c trick trapping the queen uh queen of course not gonna be lost for free so uh queen c4 d takes on c4 and after bishop g4 the knight can pick up this uh, this bishop so white at the end have actually uh one extra piece and of course winning so these two variations of course are completely lost by uh by hikaru and he played d6 which is also so losing however now the queen is under attack so what uh, alireza should do is bring the queen to to h4 to g3 uh, and continue the game and attack on the position of the king the, the king this is this is just a lost position however he went for queen f3 which is also winning uh, but it's quite complicated because this actually allows hikaru to make some counterplay h5 with the very simple idea of the bishop to, to g4 okay pinning the queen and winning the queen and now the problem is that white have to find a quite very difficult to to find move actually what Hikaru said is King E1 is absolutely ridiculous computer line. Why is that? Uh, first of all, King actually goes away from this from this nasty pin. So this is the uh, first thing, very important. Uh, and uh, the King is pretty safe here in the center. It's quite shocking, but it's pretty pretty safe. So for example, Bishop G4 and the Queen just goes back to F1. Now why F1? Because this is extremely strong. This is the checkmate idea here. So um, also this knight can jump to g5. So for example, bishop h3, g takes on h3. And now first, if black want to defend that pawn, which doesn't make much sense, queen f5 uh, attacking this, this rook. And how would you like to uh, defend that? If you try to defend, this looks pretty good because defending the rook, attacking the queen. However, it's completely losing because there is the checkmate here. This is what I said. This is why you stay on this open file and then this is the checkmate here. If you try something like knight f6, then it's very simple as well. Everything is forced. Knight f6, uh, g takes on f6, queen f6 with the attack on the on the rook. Also a checkmate idea here. So uh, rook h7 and after rook f1, what are you going to play next? Knight, knight, knight d8 defending. Yes, sure. But now c3 and your queen is trapped. Okay. And you also lose the game so uh, that's another idea and finally bishop b6 you make a space but it doesn't work simply because knight b6 and again we have the checkmate here so uh, you have to defend and once you defend you're gonna lose even more material and the game so king e1 was winning this is the the beautiful move however alireza uh, goes for something else knight e3 also threatening the checkmate on f7 but here actually hikaru uh, gets the counterplay and play knight f6 blocking that and now the game starts to be insane knight g5 was played so first of course we have the attack on the on the f7 so that's gonna be first thing uh, here hikaru actually wanted to sacrifice the queen but it's like temporary uh, just sacrifice the queen here and after bishop e3 then bring the the bishop to g4 okay and after bishop c5 let's say d takes on c5 uh, alireza could win the pawn here but after exchanging everything uh rook goes to uh, h7 knight g5 so rook back and then uh, actually at the end alireza could win one pawn okay so a uh, king e7 knight c5 so that was not the best bishop g4 is the simplest this is what uh, hikaru nakamura played we have knight g4 uh, and now of course h takes on g4 and the queen is under attack so queen e2 and here hikaru actually pushed g3 uh, and now alireza is in the serious troubles so uh if he plays h3 everything would be fine here uh hikaru said that he wanted to play queen f2 uh, so after queen f2 g takes on f2 uh 
Ali Reza could just take the take the pawn. The rook has to be moved. Uh, but then uh, again, the rook would be under attack. So rook h8, knight e6, and now after king e7, pick up this this bishop, and then after bishop e3, this pawn is under attack. And as you already see. Uh, Ali Reza can also win that pawn with one extra pawn. Uh, he should have very, very comfortable game and also two bishops against two knights. But Hikaru, remember, Hikaru likes to play with the knights, so that could be very tricky. Uh, but definitely Hikaru would have the upper hand here and uh, should actually have a big chances to win that game. However, he went for knight f7. Now um, the rook is under attack and here where the magic starts. So... Uh, how to continue as black? The obvious move uh, of Hikaru is rook h2 and definitely he played that move. However, the computer shows another line and this is pretty interesting and um, very, very creative. So g takes on h2 and now the, the rook of course is taken and now queen g1. So this is the queen sacrifice. Of course, the queen cannot be taken because um, the rook is lost. So it doesn't really uh, matter. Queen f1 would not work because after queen f1, black has beautiful uh, bishop g1 uh, and then promoting the next move. So pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, queen e1 would be better because now queen e1 would not work. Queen e1 actually is losing for black. White would win. King e1 is all winning. Yes, there is that some bishop g1, but the rook is still stays on h1. Okay, so for example, knight g6, and look at this. Knight g6, uh, checking, also controlling these squares, and uh, this bishop also controls another squares. Pretty tricky one. King e8 is the only move, and now the simplest way to win, not the best, but the simplest way, king f1, and after, let's say, king d7, making a space for the, for the rook, now just exchange that and uh, and yeah what just happening extra piece for white so white definitely is winning it's just you know whole piece uh, up so black would have to fight queen g2 and queen g2 is the best move in the position and now white is completely lost uh so for example bishop d2 making some trying to make some development but this bishop has no more squares so so it's very difficult to actually find Bishop g1 now, uh, and this is the problem because now the rook is falling. So rook h2 sacrifice, bishop h2, and after queen e2, and exchanging the stuff, uh, knight d4, king f2, and black is winning, but the position is extremely tricky now. First of all, black have to play g5, uh, and white cannot take that pawn, uh, and second of all, this taking the pawn on c2 is losing so i will just show you that how tricky is the position because it looks like everything was simplified but it's extremely difficult watch at this knight c2 is losing because rook h1 and black gonna lose the piece if black moves the piece actually to the let's say f4 there is the problem knight g6 with check again all of these squares are actually controlled by the minor pieces. So there is only one move, king e8, and now knight f4 wins the piece. The point is that if the pawn, if the pawn takes the knight, then rook gonna win um, the rook with beautiful skewer. So this is the problem. So that's actually wins the piece. So uh, knight c2 would not work. g5 is winning. Uh, and the same combination doesn't work because this bishop actually can go to f4. And all of this doesn't work because now the king can move to g7. Okay, so all of this maneuver doesn't work because the king is in g7. This is the free square. And now why the pawn cannot be taken? Because it's lost, uh, the, losing the, the piece. So uh, king g7 now attacking the knight. So knight um, f7 defending, but now simply b5 and defender of the knight uh, has to be moved. And all the squares actually are controlled by the knight. So uh, whatever is played, of course, then black gonna win the piece and the game. This is how complicated position is that. So G takes on H2, computer lines, uh, but very beautiful as you see. Uh, Hikaru went for rook h2 uh, and now of course then the rook cannot be taken because black gonna win the game with the queen on g1 so this is why we have a rook f1 and here is the moment where you can actually pause the video and find the winning continuation for uh, for black for Hikaru Nakamura he found it while I enjoy my cup of tea
Okay, ready? So the only like really forcing move is uh, queen f2, queen sacrifice. So Hikaru sacrificed the queen. Not much choice is here because uh, this pawn gonna be lost and uh, black gonna win much easier. So this is why we have rook f2 uh, accepting the sacrifice. And now g takes on f2. Uh, queen f1 now blocking, otherwise rook h1 of course is winning the game. And here, this is what you have to find, what Hikaru found immediately. Uh, and this is just beautiful. Watch at this. Knight h5 with the very simple idea jumping to g3 and attacking the queen. And now white has nowhere to go. Uh, and also the pawn is still protected by the bishop. So nothing can be done here. Uh, he, uh, Ali Reza played d4 and after bishop d4, he just resigned. And nothing, really nothing can be done. Whatever move he, ma he makes, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this, this move is happening. And uh, yeah, if the queen moves, then of course we're gonna have rook h1 with check. And after king d2, uh, only then just promote to the queen. So what's happening now is queen was sacrificed and, and of course now promoted to another queen. However, white in this process lost the rook. So black simply are the rook up. So extra rook, of course, is enough to win the game. This is why uh, in this position after bishop d4, Ali Reza Firuzia resigned. There are no more tricks. Uh, and this is uh, why Hikaru Nakamura wanted to see actually uh, analyze that game and this was pretty beautiful. So if you like this video, press like if for some reason uh, you don't like it, press unlike and uh, if you don't want to miss other beautiful games, press subscribe, smash the bell button. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.